Hello and welcome. I am Lane, a certified life coach and addiction recovery coach and hypnotist here to help you on your manifestation journey. If you are looking for help for one-on-one -on -one coaching services or hypnosis services or coaching and hypnosis bundles, check out the Dropbox below because I offer all of that on my website, solutionscoaching.org. Today we are going to dive into a video that a uh, amazing, wonderful subscriber had asked on another topic video that I had talked about in one of my shorts about manifesting a specific person and then them turning around and manifesting you because it is a very interesting topic. So I'm gonna dive into that today if you feel like they are manifesting you. So if you could do me that solid hitting that thumbs up button, that way it pushes this video out, especially if it was helpful for you, along with hitting that subscribe button, along with the bell icon, that way you are notified every single time that I post a new video. So. Now that that's out of the way, let's get into the actual topic of this video because like I said, it's very interesting. What makes it so interesting is because on this journey, we start off wanting to manifest a specific person. And when we are manifesting a specific person and embodying a new version of us, starting to think, feel, act, behave, and have different beliefs, we change our identity and then it's like the tables have turned and it feels like they are manifesting us. And it's not actually that they can manifest us because there is nobody in control of us in our own reality because we are seeing things through our own eyes. We are the only ones in our reality that actually have free will. But because we are manifesting them, it creates this effect where you are then being reminded of, of them. You are then feeling like they are manifesting you because it's co-creation. You've decided that this is a desire that you want, that you can have, and you start to embody that version of you. The version of you that's unconditionally loved, that's committed to, knows that they are chosen, knows that they are prioritized, really starting to work on your beliefs about your person. And maybe if you guys had history or a previous relationship together, starting to change the story about that and your perception begins to change. And because you were changing, you were experiencing a different version of them. So when they start showing up differently, they are desiring you. They're just, they've been desiring this new version of you, the version that they can commit to, the version that they are in love with, the version that they always knew was good enough for them, the version that they've always wanted to choose. And then energetically, they start to chase you. They start to pursue you because now you are in alignment with the version that uh, you want to experience of them. You're in alignment with the version that you need to be to experience that happily ever after with them. And because your perception is that of a new identity, your reality has to match that. So now not only are you different, you're experiencing a different version of them that has sparked the desire for them to want to be with you. So then because you've sparked that desire within them, they begin contemplating and thinking and feeling and acting and behaving and believing the way that they need to about you. It's it literally the tables have turned. At first, it feels like it's you manifesting them, but you just manifested a new version of you. And now that you are this new version of you and you quantum jumped into that timeline, they can show up as the version that you have always wanted them to be. And having that as your experience, and now they're drawn to you. You are like a magnet to them. So they are obsessively thinking about you. They are checking your social media. They are contemplating a future with you. They are working on themselves to become a better version for you. So all the things that you were doing in the beginning and feeling like that lack, that desperation, just wanting them, just needing them, all of that starts to go away because you've focused on yourself. You've become this new version of you starting to um, you focus on yourself, but also living your life again, coming up with new hobbies, doing things that make you feel good, hanging out with friends, exploring this new version of you, exploring this new life that you've created for yourself. And now energetically, you've taken your power back. You're, you're filling your own cup and they can feel their cup that you filled of theirs starting to deplete. 
And now they are thinking the lack mindset of, oh my God, I wonder if there was somebody else. I don't want to lose them. That's my wife. That's my husband. Like I don't want anybody else to be with them. Like I have to check their social media to make sure that they're not with anybody else. And should I reach out? And how should I reach out? Like I want to, I want to make this work this time. So I got to change my behaviors because I know I wasn't showing up in the correct way either last time. And, you know, I had a lot of fault and I'm taking accountability for, you know, the things I said and did. It wasn't all them. And I know I blamed them for so many years, but I don't want to blame them anymore. I'm going to do the changing too. And the roles have reversed all the things that you were going through in the beginning, they begin to go through. And then because they are obsessively thinking about you and contemplating a future with you and so on and so forth, you can feel their energy. You can feel them thinking about you. You're going to start seeing that the signs of them thinking about you, you're going to be reminded of them the same way that they were getting reminders of you. You are going to get reminders of them. So like in my personal life and in my client's life, they can smell like colognes or perfumes, um, that they know that their specific person, um, you know, their scent, uh, starting to hear the songs maybe of in the relationship or songs that, that, that person had sent to them or whatever. Um, like there's so many different things and, and, and like friends bringing them up again after you weren't talking about them, but they're on your friend's minds. Things in your reality are going to start being reflected back to you, reminding you of this person because now energetically they are chasing you. They want you. Because you did all of the work focusing on yourself, becoming a new version of you. And you allowed the tables to turn. Now again, it's not them actually manifesting you. It's co-creation. Because you quantum jumped into a timeline where you have your desire fulfilled. That end desire is them wanting you, them pursuing you. So it goes hand in hand because you're new self and you're in the reality and you've, you've done the work where you're, you're changing the story of them, of the relationship, and you feel like you're in that knowing you are that person, you know, it's inevitable. They're going to show up. They can feel that. And they start showing up in accordance to that new timeline as well, where they're in love with you. And it, obviously if you're in love with someone, you're going to think about them. You're going to want to be better for them. <laughs> you're going to want to talk to them and communicate with them. You're going to want to know what's going on in their life. You're going to wonder what's going on if you don't have access to them. You're going to want to break no contact. You're going to want to prioritize them. You're going to want to spend the holidays with them. You're going to want to build a home with them in a family. And then that's how your specific person starts to think. And it feel, you can feel the energy shift, right? Just like you can feel when you're in lack and desperation or when you're feeling secure and happy. You feel the shift, right? So they feel the shift as well. They were feeling really good, really confident in their decision to not be with you. And then all of a sudden they start to, to feel the lack of your absence and it starts to affect them because now you have manifested the version of them that's in love with you. You see how this works? So again, it's just co-creation. Nobody has free will in your reality. So as soon as you change and you quantum jump to that reality where you're the the most confident, secure, happy-go-lucky version of yourself, knowing your worth and your value, knowing that you are good enough for this relationship, knowing that you deserve your happily ever after and you're allowing yourself to experience it, things will start to unfold and you have to allow them to unfold. Don't judge your 3D. Just know that it is working as you are shifting and feeling better about yourself. Your perception is beginning to change of your reality and the relationship and how things had ended. Once all of that starts happening internally, you'll start seeing the external. But sometimes you can pick up energetically different things. Again, like the, the scent of their cologne or their perfume, different songs reminding you of them. All of that is is sure to show you who you are being and how things are changing and how you are tuning into that timeline even if you can't physically see it yet yet is the key word even though you can't physically see it it is happening so if you found this video helpful at all please hit that thumbs up button if you learned something new or it's something that resonates with you please comment down below too if this is something that you've experienced it experienced Um, I've experienced it. I've had clients experience it. So it's, (laughs) I've heard plenty of stories about it. So I know it is a thing. Um, and yeah, so share your story down below. If you do have another comment that you'd like me to make a video on, then I'd love to share that as well. 
uh, hit the subscribe button along with the bell icon that we are notified every single time I post a new video. Thank you for being here. And guys, as always, you got this.